Hello, everybody. Welcome to the United Way TV. I'm Rav Dukan, your pre daily presenter uh, in the channel, guys. In this video, we are going to tell you guys the players who we believe that have to be sold. And we will try to tell you guys uh, the value of these players. We'll tell you players which I think they should leave. I want to be very positive. You know, we have had the big news. Eric Tenak stays as Manchester United. Now we can move on and think about how the team should be uh, should not only play next season. And we're talking about players who should leave uh, the club and players that should stay. So let's go straight with the goalkeeper, guys. And the, before we start, guys, please help us. Just click a like on the video. We want to hit 10,000 subscribers. That's a fact that we want to hit it before the season starts. But it wouldn't happen if you guys don't help. So it's your challenge, not really mine. Anyway, guys, let's go straight with the goalkeepers. We'll tell you guys the latest news in terms of goalkeepers, who stays, who leaves, and who uh, who uh, we, we, we want. You know, we are not the manager. So we go straight here. Yeah, we know the goalkeeper. We will be using the, the uh, our football. Where is our ball to point the goalkeepers? Because some of United fans, you guys don't even know your players, to be honest. So let's uh, come up 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 okay so here is uh we'll start with uh with uh andre onana andre onana andre onana had a more or less a fair i mean let's rate andre onana right uh, the whole season of anana this season you say i'll give onana a seven on this seven it says a seven why and i could have given him a six because the second part of the season he did really well uh, onana and i think he should stay we shouldn't sell him it would be very impossible and one of the reasons why Onana will stay is because we have uh, manager uh, Ten Hag staying and Ten Hag brought Onana. He trusts in the player. We want to play from the back. We think he would need to improve. Look, one of the reasons that we criticized Onana last season, it was because uh, he we did consider a lot of goals that were his fault. I mean, I would say almost almost 50% of the goals uh, that, w that, that was Onana's fault. But he had a finals, the final game in the cup and he did really well. I'll give him a 7, some would say 6.5 uh, of the season. So he stays. So we start with we go with uh, Tom Hutton. Tom Hutton ha is no longer a Manchester United player. Actually, presently he has been called up by the English national team to be the goalkeeper coach. I read something of that online. So Tom Hutton has uh, moved on in his career. 38, 39. Um, I think he has done what he has to do. He has lived the dream, playing for a dream club. So that's fine. The latest, uh, so he leaves, which means United. We need to strengthen there. So the later news of of Alta um, Bayinde. Bayindi is the goalkeeper of the Turkish national team. He deserves respect. I think he is a player which I think he he's young. He cannot play any longer a second uh, uh, a second choice goalkeeper. I think Bayindi will move on. He's trying to find a club. Uh, we have heard her in, in, uh, in, there are some Turkish clubs who are interested in his service. So I think he will move on. Bayindi. Uh, unfortunately, we don't have places for all the player for all players that we had let's go straight with the defenders defenders let's start with um Tyra Malasia Malasia had an issue which there's a lot of speculation it could be a serious injury physically it may be a psychological injury we don't know about Malasia I would love to hear from you these are defenders I think Malasia because Ten Hag have stayed due to financial situations I think Malasia will stay you see where I'm coming from I'm being very rational but for me, overall, in Malaysia's season, you cannot rate Malaysia because, you know, actually he did not play uh, any game, basically. Did he play any game? He didn't play any game. So, but I think he's going to stay because Ten Hag would have to... For me, I think he should leave, but in the rational part of me, with United not having money, I think they might let him stay. Lisandro Martinez, look, we have been talking about Ten Hag's uh, new contract. For ten, uh, Manchester United was going to play better this season. For United, for us to play well this season... We obviously need um, uh, Lisandro Martinez feet. If Lisandro Martinez could be fit next season at least seventy percent, we can hang out for that fourth position and qualify for the Champions League. So I rate Lisandro Martinez. Him not even being playing. I mean, I think he played Lisandro Martinez. I think he played thirty-five percent of the season, if not thirty percent of the season last year. But with bet, I rate him a six. And the six is just from when he came back. Every time he came back, he showed. Um, uh, uh, he showed his quality. The reason why we bought him, and I think Gary, uh, and I think, uh, I think most of you agree with me. Harry Maguire. This is a very strange one. Harry Maguire, our ex-captain, 
he will not play the Euros. Harry Maguire, I think Harry Maguire, honestly, tell me what you think about Harry Maguire. Should he be sold? The truth is that two of these players, one has to go because we hear hearing of Tadibo, which is a player which Ten Hag likes a lot. Harry Maguire, I think Harry Maguire the whole season, his professionalism, I will give Harry Maguire a 6 over 10. That's uh, the whole season, 6 over 10 for him playing more. What I love in Harry Maguire, I'll start with what I love. I love the fact his professionalism made the difference, but in terms of uh, his... Um, Skills, he's a slow defender. He doesn't meet up uh, the, the qualities we want to play high end. So six, I think we should either move on with Magway. And also because he will be a better financial exchange in terms of we can we can get 20, 25 million. He's an English international. So I think we should sell uh, Magway. Victor Lindelof, depending on what we um, we have, uh, we, he has a, we gave he exten extended his contract for another year, which means his value... Uh, Victor Lindelof is a good uh, he's a good third choice for Manchester United. He could fill in in games where we want to rest our main two defenders. I think he's a good player that can stay in the bench. I mean, what I mean is when I thought I think between Victor Lindelof and Harry Maguire, I think Harry Maguire. What I mean is Harry Maguire for me is slightly better than Lindelof. Lindelof is good on the ball, Harry as well. But when it comes to the value in terms of exchanging these players for cash. I think Harry Maguire has a better chance to make money. We have a better chance to make money for Harry Maguire than, Vinter, Din, uh, than uh, Victor Lindelof. So tell me what you think in the chat, guys, because we are moving ahead very fast. For Ineos to, to do well, for Manchester United to be financially able to, to, challenge, for to challenge, we need... Um, we need to cut our, our expenditure. So that's why you see our best defender of last season, which I think was Rafael Veran. We let him to move on. Veran moved on. He was earning 350 a month. And that is your good news for the books. Bad news for us. But uh, I think he has left already. We are, and for those of you who didn't know, Veran is playing already in uh, Loran. Veran has accepted to go to Miami. Uh, I think it's how they call this club where Messi plays. I think Miami. Uh, in Mi Miami, in the MLS. Um, Dalo, some would say he is the player of the season, last season. Very good player. I, uh, uh, Sorry, I didn't rate Veran. I give Veran a solid seven. He left with his head, high, uh, head uh, up high. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, and we come with Diego Dalo. Diego Dalo, an eight for me, player of the season. He is a future. If he can, if he can play, if he can maintain already, what he did last season, that would be fantastic. Because as I keep telling you, Diego Maradona said in the 1980, 1998 World Cup about Zidane, that it's, if you work hard in football, you can arrive at the top. The most important thing is to maintain yourself. So I think he will be, uh, he, sh will, he should stay. Luke Shaw. Luke Shaw was one of the biggest disappointed, not because disappointment of last season, not because he played badly, but because of the injury. Luke Shaw, very good player. When Luke Shaw plays, we see it. He, he's one of those utility players, maybe not the utility, but utility player where he can play several positions. He can play as defenders. He can play as central defense and wins as well as left back. Luke Shaw is very vital for the way United plays. If he can sustain his injury and play at least, if we can get 35 games and Luke Shaw, Luke Shaw in the 35 game season for Luke Shaw, I think he will be better for us. I will grade him the last season. I gave Luke Shaw a five. It's not that he's a bad player, just that he didn't play games. <laughs> so, um, and I think he should stay. Aaron Wan Basaka, Aaron Wan Bissaka, one of the favorites, especially for our African fans who watches here the channel. For me, I think he is very good defensive. I think he's a player that we need actually in terms of when we want to play defensive game. But again, there's other things that Manchester United need. If you are honest, we need the, the cash, the finance, and we think that we can get 20 to 25 million pounds for this defender who has one plus one year in Manchester United. So tell me what you think. We hear Crystal Palace is interested. We've heard also other clubs in the Premier League. I think if 20 million is brought, brought in the table, we should take Aaron Wambasaka, considering we were looking for offensive defenders um, in Frimpong. So for me, Aaron Wambasaka, a defender which I really like, should leave. Coming back, another defender which we know here, yeah, Brandon Williams. Brandon Williams was on loan. His contract is uh, has been uh, annulated. He is no, he is no longer a United player leaving, so that's a leave. And Aaron Wambasaka, I forgot to say, I give Aaron Wambasaka with all the respect a seven last season. I think I mean the, there is this saying, well, everything that ends well and uh, ended well because I you know. 
our biggest problem last season was that we had a lot of injuries. So that's where I am. So uh, moving to Johnny Evans, this is a very funny one. We're hearing conflicting reports that he has been given an extension, which I think is bad news because we have to move on with all these old defenders. Johnny Evans can't play up to 30 games a season. It's unfortunate, but that's the way it is. I think last season, Johnny, Johnny Evans, considering his age and his re um, responsibility, I give him a 6.5 six even 6.5 for Johnny Evans. But I think he, should, uh, he shouldn't be given a contract, honestly, if you want to move on and be competitive again. So he won't be sold. But I hope he, that story about him getting a new contract is not true. Willie Kambwala, that's the future of Manchester United. The short time he has come with the first team, he has proven that he is ready to, 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 to take the pressure not experienced enough, I think we should, uh, I, but uh, how do you gain experience? How did Marcus Rashford, Marcus Rashford gain experience? It's by playing games. We need to use uh, Kambwala on our, Euro, on our internal cup competition, on a lot of games which uh, to give him game time so he builds that confidence. And uh, for me, I think he should stay, solid stay for me in Kambwala. Let's move to the midfield. That, should, that would be more challenging. The midfield will start with Ericsson. I think Ericsson, very good professional, fantastic footballer. But I think next year we have to recruit midfielders. And uh, I think he has one more year. He uh, one more year on his contract at Manchester United. If it was my opinion, I think he should be sold. Bruno Fernandes, and uh, I rate Ericsson's season last season as a six. Uh, Bruno Fernandes, last season, uh, a seven for me, uh, over 10 rating. I think Bruno, captain, there's very little to talk about Bruno Fernandes. He's one of the better players we had in Manchester United. Tell me what you think about him. Should he be sold? I think it would be crazy considering that we don't. We will have to invest more than if we sell Bruno. But you never know. Uh, so I think Bruno stay. Uh, uh, Mason Mount. Look, Mason Mount. You can discover. You can say if he is a success or not with Manchester United because he didn't really play games. He came from injuries and continue the regime of injuries with Manchester United. Very good player. He's somebody I really admire with the authentic way he played, the energetic way he played. Ten Hag really needs to come out with a way that that we need to see our, our style of play. If we don't see that style of play, I will be the first person to say Ten Hag out. Believe me. If you watch the video till now, please you enjoy. Please click the like on the video and subscribe and share. But let's move. To, and I want Mason well, Mount to stay. And let's move to the next one, which is Safarim Amrabat. Amrabat is a controversial player for Manchester United. You have to be an amateur to say sell Amrabat because you. Are, I call you in the version of those people I call the TikTok fans. Some of you who swing footballers, oh Messi, Mbappe, you know. But Amrabat is an utility player. It's a player that will be needed in the long season. Maybe if we're going for a competition, even a competition, he will be a better player. Why? Because he is more flexible. He might not, you know, the jack of all trades, specialist of none. Uh, I think, I, don't, I mean, he, he will do well if you want to play a, two, a holding midfielder. He is that kind of player that breaks the play from a six. He is the player that plays the way the coach means. I think Amrabat's season was uh, an average 5.5 uh, uh, because, uh, you know, he, he, I would put this way, Amrabat destroyed his Manchester United short career just for the club. Um, Ahmad, Ahmad is a player that if it depends, if we succeed to be a ball playing football team, he will have chances. Uh, and I, I want Amrabat to stay. Am, uh, Ahmad is a player that if we do a position of football, he will have a lot of chances. And I think Amrab, uh, Ahmad is a player which can impose himself and, um, I give Ahmad the short time he spent with United. I give him a 7 over 10 in this thing. So I think Ahmad should stay, but he might go on loan. Casemiro, talking about money coming in and cash cow. This is what we can get. This is a player that we can get because he's attracted already in the Saudi league. Casemiro, I call him Master Casa in this channel, the head of the car of the house. So <laughs> but last season, Casemiro, was, he was really abysmal. He was really that bad that I could... Uh, I will happily take uh, a 30 or 40 million pounds for him if he moves to Saudi Arabia, but why not more? So next player is Foucault Simperiously. Since when we're talking about Jason Sancho not playing for Manchester United, but this must be 100% from what we have seen, a player which United would, would not be a United player next season, Foucault Simperiously. Maybe Ten Hag might change his mind and give him chances and he, he proves himself, but I think Foucault um Oh, I didn't rate... Uh, Casemiro. Casemiro, for me, I give him a 5. It was just that bad, over 10. 
maybe some of you give him below 4.5 in the whole season. So uh, for Kosim Pelestri, I give Pelestri also a 5. He wasn't given a chance. I remember the match we played against Bayern in the Champions League. For me, he was good. He played well on the right. Most of you wanted him to continue. But, you know, there is something the managers know that we don't know. So I can, I mean, I think for Kosim uh, Pelestri will be a clear profit. Is it true? Because we sell a player that was f that came through our youth system. Maybe, yep. So talking about someone which uh, I don't know where he plays now. I don't know where he's going to play in a couple of weeks. I don't want to see him in Manchester United because I think he needs to think about his career. If I were him, I would return to Ajax and get a lower salary and build up my career. It's Donny van der Beek. This Donny van der Beek is one of the most exciting players that United fans wanted because of what they saw he, when he was in Bayern in, in uh, Ajax Amsterdam. A very good player, offensive player. He is my kind of player. Not only the tiki taka, but one touch, you know. Very good distribution, Do Johnny, Donny van der Beek. And um, I just don't know. It's, it's one Talking about disappointment, this is one of the players that really have been disappointed in the whole season, Donny van der Beek. I think he should be sold. If somebody has 10 million euros, so uh, something between 5 and 10 million pounds, we should take it for Donny and let him go and get his career somewhere else. Talking about uh, another mid midfielder, Kobe Menu, the revolution of the season, solid eight. He should stay. Scott McTominay, if we have 40 million, 35 and 40 million for Scott McTominay, we definitely need to sell for Scott McTominay, considering we'll get a player of that height in any of the position that will play for Scott Mc McTominay. Um, I give him the season. McTominay, he will be surprised. I give him a seven. He is not a good player, but he has been there for United, considering last season. Um, Dan Gore, this will be the revolution of Manchester United next season. Nobody's talking about it. I've said Kobe will be the future pro captain. That is my prediction. I think Dan Gore, given chances this season, he might excel. He might be one of those youth that Ten Hag might keep him till, gen till January for a loan, and I think he will take it. So for me, Dan Gore stays and comes into games. Um, Hannibal, he needs to be sold. It will be a revolution if Hannibal picks up his chance. He needs to be sold. Not a good loan in Seville, uh, and I can't give much about him, but the short time he spent with United, it was a 5, 5.56, anything. We talk about Amari Forsen, who has signed in an Italian club, uh, I think Bologna. Um, Forsen, um, very uh, average performance, good player, Ten Hag gave him that chance, and I think Forsen, a 5, he should go and get a career somewhere else, he would do really well so the last list here we know of uh yeah anthony anthony uh, marshall who is no longer united player earning 2.50k that's clearly him and uh, the defender verandas half a million pound a week has been wiped away from our books which is good news marcus rashford could leave manchester united only if a good deal comes a good offer from anything lesser than 60 70 million pounds will not be accepted Rashford, so i think he will stay Rasmus Holland, that's the future. Uh, Rashford, I give Rashford a five. It's not me giving in at Dar um, Gary Southgate. Uh, Rasmus Holland, I give Rasmus a seven, playing for a team with, uh, where the wingers don't give uh, passes to the attackers. I think it's one of the best revolutions we have had this season. I give him a seven. Uh, you have uh, uh, Ganacho Alexandra, a seven. Uh, for me, you can't talk much about player one of the revolutions. Some will give him play of the season. Um, uh, you have Anthony, the Brazilian. Look, this if Ten Hag had a problem, if this man Ten Hag had a problem, it was clearly caused by this guy because of the money. Because, you know, for us, the fans, we know very little about the club. I think this guy was the main reason. Talking about paying back uh, what uh, your manager is giving you, this guy, it is criminal the way he has played. Sorry. I mean, I'll give him a four. And uh, he should be sold. If someone comes to 25, at low as 25, 30 pounds we should just give him i mean even if it's a loan that they take care of his tip he has been so disappointing this guy uh, i don't i want to move above him he should be sold jason sancho character wise he, he has proven that he is more important than manchester united very bad qualities of a football player football is a collective game and when you start bringing your personal attitude over the game you are fucked so um jason sancho it will be difficult for us to sell but if we can get a loan to cut our cost he should he should go. Shola Shatire, uh, um, okay, Shola Shatire, the Nigerian, uh, British Nigerian player, very good player, but I think his chances to play for United is almost zero. 
high time to moving up with another loan. And uh, yeah, I didn't, I didn't tell you, Anthony had a four in the season. Four. That's how bad he was. So Mason Greenwood. Mason Greenwood is one of the better players United have had in the history since the cut of flights of 92. We know what happened with Mason. He was in loan in Gefferte. He did what he wanted. To do. He, he could do. I think Mason Greenwood is the player which might really be a clear profit for Manchester United. There are some big news about Mason Greenwood, which Juventus uh, from Italy wants to buy Greenwood for a year in of a 40 million pound, but which we don't, be, I mean, join with add on. I don't care the which way it goes. Greenwood needs to uh, needs to get a uh, challenge. I keep flip flopping Greenwood. I love him, the player. I want him to play for United, but the reality is, I think he will have a top time playing top time playing Manchester United in the Premier League. Yeah. So guys, here we are now. That's uh, my view. Tomorrow we'll be giving you the uh, rating the players who which um, the players also Manchester United. Which players they for the percentage of players which might leave Manchester United. We know who have left. We know who we will want to leave. Tell me down in the comments below who would you want to stay in Manchester United and how do we approach the season? Without said, sorry, it's over 20 minutes. We did 15 minutes, but you know, we're in transfer season. Guys, please make sure you smash a like on the video. Get involved with the United way. And guys, please, please, we want to hit 10K. I don't know. We know miracles does happen. It's, it's a very tiny number to hit in Manchester in, um, in the YouTube world, but for some reason, our content is unshared and we don't really know why. But anyway, guys, great speaking to you. And yeah, talk to you soon. Bye-bye.